Well there, once again, it's Anton from Anton Bay. And you know what? I just decided I'm gonna just I'm gonna just press on. I'm gonna do uh, some more strange tales because I really I'm really excited I'm, to have this and I'm really enjoying uh, going through these. This is 1987 Marvel, uh, 75 cent covers, one of the last uh, strange tales types books where you had like multiple stories and stuff going on, multiple characters occupying the same book. Um, I've been recently reacquiring some books that I have lost or had to give up at one point or another. And this was one of the sets. I sold all my cloak and daggers. I had, to, it was just something that uh, needed done at the time. And it was something that I was like, well, you know what? The opportunity is here. Somebody is offering me these uh, for a pretty good price on eBay. And um, I ended up getting all 19 issues of Strange Tales and all 11 issues of their original uh, short series, uh, which is, I think, volume two, because volume one is their one through four series. But I got all of those shipped for $33. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. It's like 30, 30 comics for 33 bucks uh, with shipping. That rat man is horrifying. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, I do not remember him. Um, and speaking of remembering, these are books that I've read before. Um, some of my favorite characters of my original uh, love of Marvel. There's some books I know I'm not ever going to be able to get back. Like, okay, my uh, my 30 or 40 years of Uncanny X-Men, that I can't afford to get that back. That's never coming back. You can't get that back. Uh, unless, you, unless you're winning the lottery or something, that's, that's pretty much gone for your life. Um, but I was able to pick this up for you know, uh, about a dollar an issue. And I, I would do that all day long. I, ac I absolutely love this era. I love these characters. You can almost just look at the page and just go, yep, that's Marvel in the 80s. That's a good Copper Age book. And I love that. That is absolutely one of my all time favorite eras of Marvel. I, I would take this stuff. I love it more than Golden Age, uh, Copper Age stuff, or Silver Age stuff for some reason like this era and this is a little before my time i didn't actually start buying comics on the regular until i believe i want to say it was 94 or 95 on you know getting into the marvel stuff and the regular stuff um there's father francis delgado he really does not like cloak um But, you know, he lets him live there. I don't, if I remember right, he's not a good guy. I think he eventually uh, turns into a monster or gets possessed by a monster or something. But I can't remember if that's these stories. They do excellent work on some of, uh, some of Dagger's facial expressions. I almost called her Dazzler. Of course, when you think about it, you got a blonde, dances around, shoots light out of her. Yeah, I could see a... You can see her hanging out with Dazzler. And of course, uh, Dazzler was another series that I had all 50 issues of, and uh, I do miss that. But I don't know if that's one I'll be able to afford to get back. It seems to have gained some popularity for its goofiness, and it's, it's a little on the pricier side, but this was definitely a series that I could afford to get back, so I was definitely gonna do it. Uh, another, another big uh, splash page. Marvel did not do a lot of splash pages in the 80s, which I feel like they could have done more. Um, I like them. I realize they take up more space in the page and the book, and you don't maybe get as much story, but something that really reaches out and grabs you, I always did appreciate. Speaking of reaching out and grabbing you, um, just look at that cover for a little bit. Look at how creepy that is. For Cloak and Dagger being the main stars of this book, their primary feature, to not have them on the cover I liked. I was figured they should always kind of come up with some sort of design where they could all be on the cover. But alas, they did not do that very often. So this guy is major creepy looking. Yeah, he just keeps sprouting more arms out of his arms and stuff like that. It's pretty nasty looking. Marvel Bullfin. Quote of the month. Ma'am, if Uncle Sam wanted to be Mickey Mouse, I'd do it. 
If, if Uncle Sam wanted me to be Mickey Mouse, I'd do it. I'm that kind of American, the kind you can count on. John Walker, the new Captain America, Captain America 333. I don't know, I've never seen those quarter of the months before, but I, I never got into this new universe thing. I had like all of it, I had a massive amount. If you wanna see it, go back and look at my old video. Uh, Marvel's New Universe, there was a crap ton of those. I got them all in this big uh, big sale, and or a big purchase. It was, it was like a, a inventory from a comic store or something. Uh, this is where I got that one, or possibly one of the private collections I bought, but and they they were just I, I wasn't into them. And you know these I I can't get over these these are so good. I would say um, these might actually be these issues might be in better shape than the ones I originally owned because um, if I remember right they they were a little bit more washed out inside the ink had maybe faded just a touch more. Um, either being bagged in incorrect bags or whatever um which kind of is another thing that's been on my mind with comic books lately i'm I just keep thinking about it I was like what if we just stopped bagging them what if you know some of these these weren't bagged when i got them they were just free they were floating around and they're they're in pretty nice shape and i don't have to take them out of the bag to read them what if i just don't bag them what if i just put them on the shelf could i do that could i live with myself i don't know it's just one of those things i've been thinking about I got I got a whole bunch of Alpha Flights I just got. Ooh, some nice big pages. Big piles of Alpha Flight I just got, and I, you know, some of them are bad, some of them are not. I got a nice big pile here that's not, and I kind of wonder if I'm just gonna leave them that way. I know that's like a comic book sand, but uh, it might keep me from ever selling them again. I also want to say this is probably, uh, much like with the Alpha Flight I mentioned, that it was the third time I have acquired the entire 1 through 130 of Alpha Flight. Uh, the first time I pulled them out of a quarter bin, the second time I acquired them in a collection, massive purchase, and the third time I had to put it together myself and did it very quickly. Uh, I believe this is also the same is true for uh, these Cloak and Dagger, these Strange Tale books. Um, I know I pulled all these out of quarter bins in the early 90s, the mid 90s, 90, 95, 96, whatever. Uh, these were these were floating around in quarter bins all the time. And then I ended up selling all those at one point uh, as I sold my whole collection. And then I got a, a second collection, which was so huge that it took up two rooms of the house and uh, had these again, sold that. And so this is the third time. And I have decided when it comes to the third time, uh, the third time is gonna be the charm. Um, if I'm buying the set for the third time, which is what this is, is my third set, I'm not, I'm not buying them again. I'm also probably not gonna sell them again, which means do I need to bag these or can I just leave them on my, on my shelf the way they are? Or leave them in a box and read them. Her head looks way too big right there, but that's kind of funny. Yeah, when a weird mystical black box is oozing something out of it. Don't lick it. Yeah, they had the opportunity to lose their powers and he didn't want to because if he did, he'd lose a dagger. Um, they give Cloak a lot of crap for being like a jerk face. Um, some of it maybe he deserves, but... Maybe not all of it. Nice. I'm not a black magician. <laughs> I'm just going to laugh at that phrase. He's also not British, but they made him British too. I know what he meant. Black magic. Got it. I love the feel of these books. They just have this like, I don't know. They weren't too glossy. They didn't have the like super glossy pages yet. And they were cheap and they were fun to read. And that is a really creepy cover, but I'm glad you guys stayed for it. Thank you so much. I'm really appreciating uh, 
this series and I just love sharing it. So that's my story. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you later. Bye.